sprawling automobile plant of the Studebaker Corporation at South Bend, Indiana, already hit by layoffs due to a sales slump, is threatened with a shutdown as board chairman Paul Hoffman declares Studebaker will be forced to close unless the workers voluntarily choose a pay cut. At the high school field, workers who previously rejected a cut hear union leaders recommend it. The voting begins with jobs of 11,000 workers at stake. The proposed cut averages 10 to 15 percent, but means steadier work. The pay cut is accepted overwhelmingly, and Studebaker stays in business. 